I'm David Gross with Condi Systems, back with you to share a little bit of our wisdom for sublimation success. Well, today on Condi TV, it's my privilege and honor to introduce my good friend, Glenn Taylor. Glenn has been a Condi client only for a few, few months, but I've learned a lot of wisdom from him, and I thought you would benefit by that wisdom by talking about how Glenn has been successful with sublimation. Welcome to Condi TV. Okay, thank you, David. Good to be here. You know, this goes. This little journey goes back for me about 17 years ago. I was uh, serving a battalion in the United States Army as a chaplain. And one day, as a little project, my battalion commander called me in and said, "Chaplain, I want a license plate for the front of our cars that will have you know our our battalion crest on the left and our you know, verbiage on the right. And uh, go investigate that for me." So I, I went and investigated it. I came back to him and I said, well, sir, you can do one of two things. I could get you a good custom tag made for $25 for one person, or you could spring screen print with a couple of, you know, for 500, you can screen print it with a couple of colors and you got a big minimum to meet there. There's no way to do it. So that was the end of our thought. Well, about two years later, I was at a gift shop in Maggie Valley, North Carolina, and up on the wall was one of your tags. One of your customers ran a gift shop there. And I looked up there and it was something like Maggie Valley Volunteer Fire Department. I thought, well, he didn't get that from a screen printer. There's too much color in it. And he also didn't get make 500 of them. So I asked him where he got it, what it was. He took it down. I ran my finger across it. I noticed that the image was not on the tag. It was in the tag. And for 17 years, I've kind of read about this. I watched your tutorials, kind of kept up with the changes in it. And when I retired, I said, oh, boy, now I can give this a stab. So a few months ago, because, because of that day with Colonel Bozeman, I went out and called on military units, I would, and I gave away gifts. I would go online, you can go to Google Images and find anything in the world, and I would look up a local battalion, get their uh, National Guard Reserve mostly, get their emblem, put it on there, put their nomenclature on there, find out their little motto, fast and furious, or always ready, or whatever. And I would go by, the most senior person there, I would just present it to, as a gift. Now you're talking about something that cost me a very few dollars to make. And uh, we've all seen the commercial where the guy stays in the La Quinta one night and he gets up the next morning and he's in such good shape he plops down the ice, a block of ice on the Eskimo's desk and he says, I'll take 90,000 units. That's how my first sales call was. I called wow. on a brigade that said, yeah, we'll take a thousand. It, it upset me so I had to go to PX and sit in the parking lot and get me a Gatorade and just settle down. And literally that day there was a colonel there who was willing to say yes and we booked a fundraiser with him for December and he'll have ladies from his family support group come in. I'll be there with my press and my computer printing the images. We'll even personalize some of them. And it makes, you know, it's as easy as sharing it with people. Now the thing that's hard is people are timid about making sales calls. I was particularly comfortable with the military because I are one. But I also had a unit that I sold a tag to who called and said, can we do this for my daughter's private school? So I looked up the, I went on the AISA website, burned down the uh, independent schools in South Alabama, and I took a day here a couple weeks ago, and I just blitzed all of South Alabama with headmasters, athletic directors, uh, one time it was a cheer coach, and just gave them the gift. Walk they, into their place? Just walk into their place, say, hey, one time, one call last week was a coach literally on the field with his players. And I said, Coach, I don't want to take much of your time. I just got a gift here for you that'll demonstrate what I could do for you as far as a fundraiser. This is something you can double your money on and feel real good about what you charge for it because we've all bought a lot of $13 popcorn and $20 flower pots in our times just to support the fundraiser. Well, this is something they can sell for $15, double their money on. And pushes the school. And pushes the school. And the school's out there. And then about the time I got into it, my account rep here, made me aware of cell phone covers and their popularity. And we've done two or three things with that. I guess the interesting thing is, on your website I read some months ago before you and I ever met, a guy who said he went in the sublimation business because of his interest in paintball apparel. And he said, I was sure I was gonna make a living doing paintball team apparel. And he said, now that's less than 25% of what I do. I've discussed one idea I have with you for next spring that I think will be about all that I do. So awesome. it's funny, you get into this, I got into this to do tags. Now I've done a lot of cell phone covers. Uh, another, just, it's as simple as seeing people. There was a friend of mine who was very successful in the life insurance business and he went to this seminar and the keynote speaker was the most successful life insurance salesman in the country. 
and he came in and he told the salesman, he said, to be successful in this business, there's three things you got to do. See people, see people, and see people. And it's the same with printed products, it's the same with fundraisers. So I have aimed almost totally just at military, reserve and guard armories out there. We all have them in our outlying areas. Go by, give them a sample, uh, get an idea of what they may want, they may change it. But it's simple as just going out, giving away gifts, and making it available. Okay. Can you go over sort of the script? Just give us like a real life sales call, say on that coach, what exactly did you say to him? In that, in that situation, well, I, okay, I called on schools last week. At one, I had a secretary at 3.30 leaving the office, last person there. I said, ma'am, I don't want to hold you up, but I've got a gift. And when it was for Meadowview Christian School. And when I handed it to her, she said, that is pretty. And I said, well, that could be a good fundraiser for you. This is something that I make in a little lab at home. And, uh, you know, I, yeah, I do this, and I had a cell phone cover for another school, and I gave her the examples. She put her keys in her pocketbook down. She went back inside. She wrote down the prices. She was interested. She did just try to get me to the car because she was leaving. And I, I really don't look at it as selling as much as just telling. Just go give them the gift. I put my card on it. Now, I'll tell you another thing I did that was neat. I took the largest 10 units of reservist in the state of Alabama, and I made a tag for their unit. And I put a little note, not a, not a letter, but I, I used a tag like this that, okay. had, that had their unit over here and first of the one, two, third or whatever. And I made a little bitty streamer that I tape onto it with the heat tape that we use. And I put, Dear XO, because every battalion or brigade has an, has executive, an, has an executive officer. Please find and close a gift for me to demonstrate you know, what we can do with fundraising with military distinctive printing. Uh, family support groups and wives clubs find these to be good fundraisers. If I can be of help, give me a call. And I take my card right here and the little note up there, put it in an envelope, sent 10 of them out and say, okay, I spent about 50 bucks. I wonder if that'll bring anything back. Two of the units called me and I've got them booked. Well, I'm happy to make 10 calls and get two customers. I'd be happy to make 20 calls and get one customer. But I'm finding when I go visit about 10 schools, I hear from a couple of them. If I go visit 10 military organizations, I hear from a couple of them. Oh, by the way, I made a big drive up as far as the, you know, central Alabama to Montgomery. I are living here in Mobile. And I put about 400 miles on the truck one day, just you know, hiccup, making those calls. You don't have to do that. You can mail them out. Because if they're interested, they'll call you. Awesome. Because the product, and another thing I find out is people don't throw away stuff that's got their name on it. Oh, absolutely, yeah. They like that. And the thing that has impressed me about this is, oh, and I know, let, let me give you another little tidbit. 31 days into this business, and I know I was 31 days into it because my trial version of Corel 6 went off and I had to call them up and pay for it, which was very well worth it. Uh, your people here up told me a place I could buy it for a third of what Corel sells it for. And then when I told Corel I could buy it there, they said, we'll give it to you for that. Well, how about that? <laughs> so uh, they, they gave, I bought Corel 6X for about uh, $90, but anyway, 31 days into this, I calculated to two or three hundred dollars worth of stuff I'd given away the cost of my printer, my computer, my first ink set, and my heat press, and I had made a hundred dollars in my first 31 days. 31 days. So paid for everything and made a little profit. So it's just this, I've tried some things that didn't work. I've given away some stuff. I made some bad stuff that I've thrown away. So I know you didn't know Corel when you first started no, into this I didn't. thing, but you, you, you you probably heard of Corel, may not know how to spell it. Right, and I can remember uh, uh, my rep here, Bethany, because her background in this is more toward photographs. She uses Photoshop. Because I had a little bit of experience with Corel 6, I went with it. And for making signage, I think it's best when you have the letters and all on it. But one regret that I have is I just figured out and talked to you on the phone the other day about some things with Corel that I was trying to learn, that I'm two months into this, that I really should have stopped up front, done all of your tutorials, done all of the Corel tutorials, and I would have saved some time and product that I've thrown away. But well, we've all done that. A couple of months into it, I'm not fussing. Good deal. But not fussing at all. And uh, there's one little market that I want to break into next year that I have found that no one is sublimating. There's some embroidering going on, there's some screen printing going on, but sublimation can bring to this market, and I told you I wasn't even going to tell anybody what it was. Sublimation can bring to that market some a benefit they've never enjoyed, and the fields are wide under. But harvest. you found that market by 
Yeah, I, by, I, by just making momentum, making those sales calls, you discover opportunities. Unless I miss my doors. guess, I'll spend 90% of next year working with a product that I hadn't fathomed when I first met you. And uh, let me say something else. This will be kind of patronizing of you folks here at Condi. About a dozen years ago, I bought, back in the days that people were using a lot of Epson printers, I bought some pretty good ink and dealt with, that com uh, dealt with that computer and the ink wouldn't flow and I can remember my color profiles came from a guy on a floppy disk that I downloaded to where A, sawgrass ink flows. It doesn't stop up. The Rico copiers work better. Uh, I, I get fascinated. I'm not an IT person, I'm a salesman. And there's times I sit here at the desk and the Condi folks remote into my computer and fix what needs fixed. Uh, you know, you, you, you're the proprietor here and you've been and laid hands in, in my shop on my computer twice um, on my printer and I appreciate the support I get here. And I found out the cheapest ink to use is Sawgrass. It's high, it's costly, but it flows and it covers. And uh, you can use it cheaper per square inch than any ink. And I, I mean, you can get two liter bottles of ink from China now, you know how that goes. Yes. But uh, and I'll tell you another thing I've noticed, I've experimented and bought some other stuff and tried to print it and everything doesn't print you know, when it comes to tags and covers and all. So I'm happy with your support. I, I buy from you, but I kind of feel like your partner in this. <laughs> well, we do too. We're family. And, and we'll, all, we'll all be successful all together. But I'm holding this golf course uh, sign that I got on your wall here because that's one of the markets I've, another little market I've yes. shot at that I've had some success with. And uh, you figure you could take this tag and it's probably got 25% coverage on it. You can. You can print that tag right. for a quarter. So when you're going into a school or something and you're introducing them to a fundraising program, how do, how do you communicate sharing the money? Oh, I, I tell them that this is a product where if, you, if I come in and do a fundraiser for you, and I'll give you, for instance, local, the largest local high school here I'm contracted with to do Friday nights there for their football season. Their special ed department is going to sell cell phone covers, tags, and car flags. And I will be there, there'll be ladies from the special ed department at the mm -hmm. table selling it. I'll be back here, you know, printing it, personalizing it, putting it out. I give them 50%. So it's 50%, gross. and which, uh, is, which, which is, is generous, good. which is a lot more money than they've ever made on any fundraiser. And plus, they don't have to put any money into mine. And there's no wasted product, you're no. not requiring any minimums, order what they need, and you But can we're putting up. their little mascot here and their high school name here, and uh, then uh, also we we're doing one that says class of 213. That's real popular. I noticed that had been done here by someone here at Condi with a photograph, so just sit down. Uh, there's a lot of ideas I've gotten uh, going on Google Images to find something else and saying, gosh, give you for instance, I gave my State Farm agent a tag. Could have State Farm over here in his name, here. Gave it to him. He pulls up in his excursion to the first meeting and where'd you get that? And uh, I did one for a local golf course that I play a lot. I was out there one day, and the, and the pro comes over, and he goes, where did you get that? And I said, you don't have one. You know, and you just share it that way. Just just kind of make stuff. I've got to say it. something about it. Oh, they'll say something about it. Uh, one good little idea, uh, you know, is to get their name on it. You know, if it's a golf course, put the PGA symbol over here and the pro's name on it. And put the golf course over here. Take five. This is just a sample. Might want to carry these in your pro shop. And... Uh, you know, I don't, I don't pressure them. I don't try to close any sales. So I don't you, try you, to when you start your day in the morning, you got your eyes open looking for those opportunities. Yes, and I plan my Real trip. estate agents, yes. golf. Local realtor. <clears throat> I went on their website and pulled down a beautiful photograph of a big two-story colonial brick house with their for sale sign in the front of it. Well, it's like this. Well, I took it and uh, I went back in on Corral Draw and made a new sign that put the agent's name and telephone number on it. So my daughter's best chum is uh, in school. Her mom works for that realtor. And I said, get this to your mom. Yeah, for her. She called back and said, everybody over here loves this thing. Got to have And then one. Uh, I had a, sale for, a call for a cell phone cover yesterday from one of the agents. I got in one day last week, and there were three emails on there from these agents wanting the personalized tags and cell phone covers, for which I charge them $40. And I made them in about 15, 20 minutes, went run them over to the Greelot office and delivered them. And, you know, they were happy as could be. And I made $100 in about 20 minutes, you know. So uh, I don't know where I'm going with this yet. Like I say, I'm just playing. I have done one. I did a music festival last week up in Albertville. 
where we put out uh, cell phone uh, cases and stuff like that and sold some. I did one concession in a PX to uh, where I did some personalized things and put rank on. There's, so there's, you find a good contact there, introduce yourself, plant the mm -hmm. sheet, seeds, show them a personalized product. And they'll, they'll, they'll respond to it. But I tell you what, it's like everything else, it's work. You know, you, you just make the calls. Got, you've got to make the calls. You make the contacts and they'll get back with you. You know, it's not about trying to close a sale. It's not about being slick and polished. It's just about give them the gift, make sure they don't You don't need anything you. fancy. You don't no, need no, a fancy I go, price I go dress list. like y'all go in a polo. Just a business card, a little handwritten note maybe, and, and, mm -hmm. right. and give them the product. And they'll call you back. Good deal. And uh, then when they go to their meetings and their other coaches see it and their other agents see it, uh, other people will call you. Okay. You go from there. Well, Glenn, it's just been, been incredibly helpful to hear words of wisdom of what well, works for you. thank you for your you. support and your help and your encouragement. Well, Glenn, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll conclude at this point in time. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Blessings to you. Yes, sir. Okay. This has been David Gross with Condi Systems. Thank you for watching.